Today, I'm going to provide a brief introduction to the orders of insects, which generates two important questions. What's an order? And what's an insect? Let's get some answers. We'll start with orders. An order is a level of ranking used in taxonomy. Taxonomy is the system of naming and classifying anything, from cars to chocolate. But what we're interested in is biodiversity. The taxonomic system used today is based on one developed by Swedish naturalist Carl Linnaeus in 1753. It's called the Latin binomial system, because every species is given two Latin or Latinized names. Take this bumblebee. Its Latin binomial name is Bombus terrestris. No other creature on Earth has that name. Terrestris is the species name given to that specific type of bumblebee. Bombus is the name of the genus, the next level of ranking up, and is shared by all bumblebees. But where does order come into this? Well, genus and species are set within a bigger ranking system that starts with kingdom and heads all the way down to species, and sometimes beyond. You can remember the names of the categories using this helpful mnemonic. King Philip can only fly green spaceships. But feel free to make up your own. So, insect orders are all the order categories within the insect class. And what are insects? Well, there's no simple answer. That would be too easy. But the best definition is that they have six legs at some point in their life cycle. Now, if you remember one thing about insect orders, remember this. There are loads of them. 26 in the UK alone. And because you don't want to grow old watching this video, here are some of the most easily spotted ones to get you started. Odonata contains dragonflies and their daintier relatives, damselflies. Both are ferocious predators of insects, but harmless to humans. Orthoptera, grasshoppers and crickets, famous for their ability to make noises through stridulation, the process of rubbing parts of their body together. Isoptera, termites, famous for their ability to eat wood, which they can only digest with the help of special bacteria living in their stomachs. Also, one of only two orders in which social behaviour is found. Hemiptera, true bugs. In science, the term bug refers to a specific type of insect, those with piercing mouth parts used for sucking insect and plant juices. Coleoptera, beetles. The most obvious features are the hard wing cases, or elytra, that meet in a neat line down the beetle's back. Diptera, flies. Includes hoverflies, which mimic bees and wasps for protection. Lepidoptera, butterflies and moths. Well, you probably all know what they are. And the difference between a moth and a butterfly? There's no easy answer, but I'm sure a future episode will have fun trying to find one. Hymenoptera, the second order to contain examples of social behavior. Hymenoptera contains bees, wasps, and ants. That was a taster of the many insect orders out there waiting to be encountered. And there are many more, but I'll leave you to enjoy uncovering them yourself. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Phil. And we're conservation biologists and the presenters of a new show called EcoSapien, which explores the importance of the natural world and biodiversity. If you like this episode, or any other, why not hit the subscribe button? We need all the help and support we can get to continue producing the huge array of videos we hope to make. Thanks for watching. <laughs>